So that's how you know when your meatballs are done, it should sound like you're slapping a butt. It's supper time and I'm Maddie Matheson. We're here in my beautiful home. It's a set. But today, we're gonna be making spaghetti and meatballs, garlic bread, Caesar salad, and with all of those amazing things, we are gonna have supper. I need to make you guys at home follow with me, and we're gonna create some of the best dishes you've ever seen. We're gonna have a very easy scale. It's the small dog, the medium dog, and the big dog. Woo! On this episode, we're gonna be doing a small dog. This is easy. We're gonna make the balls, we're gonna sear them, we're gonna braise them in the tomato sauce. Very easy. What inspires me to make spaghetti and meatballs? It's my mother-in-law. She makes the world's greatest Italian food that I've ever had, and it's made for the family. This is not some fancy Italian restaurant food. This is home cooking spaghetti and meatballs at its best. First thing that we gotta do is make marinara sauce because we need to have a home for our meatballs to go into. So we want a lot of olive oil in here because there's a good pot, heavy bottom pot. Put this on like low and let that come up gradually while we're peeling and cutting all the garlic. We're not gonna burn anything. So all I'm gonna do is smash the garlic we're gonna cut an onion. We're gonna add this with the garlic. Look at that. You take olive oil and you put garlic and onions in that, someone's gonna blow job. It goes hand in hand. You make just good supper, you're gonna hopefully be getting a blow job. Someone's gonna rip your pants off or you're gonna rip somebody's pants off. Whatever's down there, people are gonna be helping each other out. And if you don't, then you, you probably, you, you didn't follow my steps. And now we can add two and a half big tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. You're gonna wanna cook tomato paste for, you know, about five minutes to get rid of that kind of like raw tomato, tinny kind of acidic uh, taste. You wanna cook that out. So you wanna add six cups of tomato puree. So we're gonna add a little bit of water a cup, a cup and a half. It depends on how thick you want it. Give it a shake so you get all the tomato juice out of there. I'm just gonna add two bay leaves. Just give it a little crinkle in your hand. It really opens up. That smells like a bay leaf. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar. The difference between like a high-end sauce and just canned tomatoes is like, you'd get just like amazing, beautiful vine ripe tomatoes out of a garden. That's a nice tomato sauce, but I'm cooking spaghetti meatballs for everyone, you know? Get the cheap cans, throw some sugar in there. And now we got to make the meatballs. This is like the holy trinity. If you're making anything, start with beef, veal, and pork. This is what, about a half a pound? Half a pound, half a pound. The second thing that we gotta do, this is just day old bread, just normal white bread. We're just gonna rip this up. Then we're just gonna take a little bit of milk. We're just gonna move this around. We're gonna add half a cup of dried breadcrumbs. We're gonna add three eggs, a cup, of Parmesan and about a half a cup of Pecorino. A big sprinkling of dried chilies. 25 turns of the old pepper mill. Add some salt. Then we're gonna add some amazing olive oil. And now what we're gonna do is just take your one hand. You don't wanna get too crazy in here, but you're gonna get messy. We don't want giant meatballs. We're just gonna round them out. Boom. 
perfect little meatballs. I do remember the first time that I ever had meatballs at my mother-in-law's house. You know, Carol, when she served, she took all of the meatballs out of the pot and served them separately. And it was an amazing thing. They serve it just like you would have your steaks or, or your ribs or whatever you have, your meat. And then you have your starch, which is the pasta. Beautiful. Carol! My Italian mother-in-law, mortadella. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Hear that? That's the sound you wanna hear. So we're gonna try to brown them on all sides here. So as the meatballs are ready, you just plop them in. Look at that, browned perfectly. We're gonna cook that for about an hour to two hours. That's nice. I'm here at Mama Martino's, which is one of my all time favorite Italian restaurants. And I'm meeting a good friend of mine, Rob Gentili, who is a phenomenal Italian chef. Let's go. This is a fountain. Let's eat some balls. This is, I think, actually my favorite restaurant. I've never been. It looks uh, I know. interesting. You can tell that you're in an Italian restaurant because of the tablecloth underneath the glass. I know what I want. Okay, so you hit it. You've been here a million yeah, times. I've never I'll, been. Yeah, we'll just order. Can, can I get just um, chicken parm? Then we're going to get spaghetti and meatballs. Maddie's go-to. Just the cheese ravioli. I need to try the lasagna. Okay, we're we got to try it. We'll get, we'll get a large. A large. <laughs> Would you guys like some garlic bread with that? Of course. When did you first come here? My friends Joe and Peggy, you know, shout out to Joe and Peggy. They're like, <laughs> they're like, yo, there's this amazing Italian restaurant and we gotta go. So then we came out here and I was like, oh my God, this place looks like New Jersey. You know, like this place. Totally. So we came in and we ordered and it was like love at first bite. I actually worked in restaurants that had menus like this. Bruschetta, gnocchi rose sauce was on every single it. menu. So my family and even my grandmother said to me, she's like, Italian food and, and cooking is meant to be at home and meant to be shared with the family. Right. Not to be a job and to go to go into yeah. it as a profession. Look and, at you now. Sitting right. at Mama Martinez with me. <laughs> Grazie Millie. Grazie Millie for all the Millie. Uh, yeah. Do you smell like garlic bread? Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. This reminds me of home. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Think we got enough food? Yeah. <laughs> the meatball. Here we go. Nice and tender. Yeah. It's good. I have a piece of pizza. In my mind, this doesn't really exist in Italy, right? Yeah, this you is know? definitely North American style. Yeah. In Italy, you don't typically see as much sauce. Okay, less sauce. Less sauce, more oil, more olive oil. So how do you make yours? Very simply. With? I always add sugar to every tomato sauce. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why Jesus? <laughs> You have to, to balance out the tin. To, to balance out the what? The tin. The, like the can? Yeah. Sugar? Yeah, sugar. Chef. Just like a little bit, a pinch. It's a huge no-no. No, it's a yes, yes. You should make your tomato sauce from fresh, ripe tomatoes. I'm a cook for the people. Sometimes you don't get the freshest tomatoes. Sometimes I buy like a cheap can of tomatoes. You gotta add a little sugs to it, you know? It's okay. Rob. Everyone doesn't have a, a Nona, Nona and no-no. They can mill a year's worth Chef, of tomato sauce. Understood. No, no. <laughs> Mama. We're gonna take this to go? Yeah, we're gonna take this to go. Cold Just... spaghetti sandwich with a big glass of milk. <laughs> That's what I. Chocolate I... milk. Oh. <laughs> we have the meatballs in their home, nestled away, simmering and bubbling in the beautiful marinara sauce. So, we're gonna make. Caesar salad dressing. Because this is just a small dog episode, we're gonna do it really easy, okay? Oh, a lot of oil in there. Oh my God, there's so much oil. Okay. It's not a Caesar salad without anchovy, period. If you don't add anchovies to your Caesar salad dressing, I feel you're just like making ranch. We're gonna add a little Dijon. Some garlic. I'm just gonna put in one clove. 
a little pepper. So I got a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm just gonna blitz this up a little bit. Okay. Look at that. We're gonna add some mayonnaise, about a cup, about half a cup of sour cream. And then we're gonna add a little bit of buttermilk. About two to three tablespoons will be fine. The mayonnaise is like really fatty. The sour cream is sour. The buttermilk, sour, but thin. All together, it balances each other out. Now take your big old greasy hand, put it in there. Caesar salad dressing. Who knew it was that easy? But I'm not trying to, you know, show you how to make aioli. We just made Caesar salad dressing in five seconds, okay? And it's perfect. Now, we're gonna make bacon bits. Look at this. This is this beautiful single smoked bacon. Slice it. And then we're just gonna run our knives across like this. Fill up this pot. Follow me. We just need a little bit of water. Once this starts boiling away and rendering out, I'm gonna add some really nice rosemary, some crushed garlic in there, which will make the bacon that much better. I don't want you guys to use regular bacon for this. Go get good bacon, okay? Go to any butcher shop and you'll be able to buy a slab of single smoked bacon, no problem. I really like doing croutons with focaccia because it's a beautiful bread. I'm gonna bring my bread knife tomorrow because this knife is dog shit. We got some olive oil. Put it on the heat, make sure everything's gonna get nice and crispy. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And you just kinda stay here and you saute every once in a while. It'll take a little bit of time, but let me tell you, you're gonna get a perfect crouton. You're maintaining your bacon, you're watching your beautiful meatballs cook. It's really easy. You thought I was gonna add some pepper. I don't like adding pepper to my croutons because it looks like mouse shit on them. All of these are golden brown, perfect little croutons. Boom, this is what we're looking for. Look at this. Bubbling, beautiful bacon bits. It's supper time. Go f yourself. We're gonna make a garlic bread inside of this hoagie roll that's gonna light your asshole on fire. Do you guys know what a compound butter is? It's when you mix up butter with a bunch of stuff. We're gonna do like a quarter pound of butter. Garlic bread needs garlic. And then we're gonna peel these we're not gonna smash these. Doo -doo -doo. We got a quarter pound of butter. We have four large cloves of garlic. And just go one way. If people do this, and over time, really quickly, your microplane, you'll push down all these little teeth, and you'll have to buy a new one. So if you just <laughs> cut your thumbnail off, Everyone can cut their thumbnail off with me, that'd be nice. I only nipped it like a little fingernail because I'm such a professional, I only, I only nipped a little bit. So just go one way. Actually, that. just go, just go for it. We're gonna add just a little bit of chili flakes. This is unsalted butter. So just a little bit of salt, lots of pepper. Some parsley, add that. Oh my God, it's running like a psychopath. It's hot in there. Big dog runs hot, you know, big dog runs hot. I'm out here, I'm chirping everyone. Okay, sweating. No AC on. Gotta come out and take the shirt off sometimes, you know? Cool off the shoulders. I'm gonna add just a little lemon zest. Give it a little bit of brightness along with the parsley. 
We're just gonna incorporate this all together. Look at that. You got compound butter. I like to use just like a really nice Italian loaf like this. Cut it all the way down. So now we can take the butter and we just spread it. So there's one, here's two. So we got our Italian roll. We have our compound garlic butter in there. We have an oven preheated at 400 degrees. I'm not gonna say it's 20 minutes or five minutes or an hour and 67 minutes. No, put it in the oven until it's nice and golden brown. So a pot will magically appear at your house full of boiling water and uh, just continue to boil it. Your water that you're boiling pasta should be salted. You want it to pretty much taste like the ocean. It needs to be seasoned. Mmm, now that's good, okay? We're just gonna grate some mozzarella. And we're gonna use that for our garlic bread. Great, great, great. Okay, there's our mozzarella. We're cooking pasta, I'm making garlic bread. I'm stirring noodles, I'm doing everything. Multitasking in a kitchen is so important because everything's going. If you just do one thing at once and it, you're gonna get lost. The water is boiling. We're about to take out this amazing garlic. Look at this. Oh! Look at this. That is hot. Oh, okay. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Making spaghetti and meatballs. F it. Why have, it's, you know, just trying to be professional. Brad! Whoa. Did you got spaghetti, dude? Yes, I do. Yes, Why I do. Why do I not have spaghetti, I'm man? Just, spaghetti stop, and meatballs? Stop yelling at me. Well, I'm not yelling. I have you in the other room. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Yeah, that's you nice. Go, baby. Okay. You throw two dicks with, like if you take two of your dicks and put them together. That'd be nothing. So make sure you can touch your fingers. Yeah. Reckon half? No. What do you mean? This isn't for children. Okay, put it in. There you go. That's good. Do you like spaghetti? Not really. Okay. Good talk. Thanks, Rang. So, I'm just gonna put the cheese on. Look at this. And you see what I'm talking about? The golden, it's crunchy. And inside, it's still nice and buttery. Ah, it's hot. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put just a little dry chili on top. So now, I'm gonna put this beautiful cheese garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread back in the oven. I'm gonna leave this oven open because if I close it, I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna burn this shit. So I'm gonna leave that oven open as just a constant reminder of my stupidity and ADD. I'm gonna make a Caesar salad. Whenever I make Caesar salad, I do a spin. Now, romaine. So I just cut it into three pieces and you just kind of break it up. So I'm gonna just take our bacon bits, put them all in there. So here's our beautiful Caesar salad dressing. Ugh. And I'm just gonna drizzle this around. Two big spoonfuls. Gonna get my hands in there. And then I'm just gonna take a little salt, a little pepper, cut a lemon in half, just squeeze it. So you got your Parmesan cheese. That is a perfect Mediocre Caesar salad. That will get you just by. And dry pasta takes a little bit of time. You still want to make it al dente. Mmm. Okay. People say that you can. There you go. That pasta is good to go. Now, I got my spaghetti. We're going to just take our amazing tomato sauce. Just give this a stir. This plate says pizza. It's not pizza. Spaghetti. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> I 
And then you just grab your meatballs. Oh my God. Look at these. Who wouldn't want to come over to your house and eat this meal? A little pars? We got spaghetti with the sauce. We got the Caesar salad. We got the meatballs. Look at this garlic bread. Listen to that. Listen to that. Listen to that. Look at that. This is maybe not the prettiest plates of food, but let me tell you, they got soul, they got history. They've had turbulent times. They've come out on top. This is champion food. Maybe a lot of people don't even know how easy it is to make meatballs. I made it the easiest way that you can. It's a really good step and building block to people building their repertoire of what they can cook at home. Look at this. Look at that. See that? That's one of those little milk pieces of bread. Oh. 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 The anchovy with that little, you know, it's beautiful. The garlic bread. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's actually crazy. This is the best garlic bread I've ever made. It's supper time. This is what it's about. It's the simple things. This is a small dog. This is a small dog situation. My goal is for you to s s keep cooking. I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is It's Supper Time. Bungiorno. Shave my hair? I should shave my body? Yeah. Why should I shave my body? Should you shave your, do you shave your body? I have no, I have no hair. Like a, like a baby eel. That's right. Smooth. Like no a sense. Vietnamese eel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mamma mia! Ah, mamma mia.